Well, 2020. I know a lot of you have breathed a sigh of relief that 2020 is over and we're now in 2021. But I just wanted to give you uh, some highlights of 2020 for us as Now Church. It wasn't a year that any of us anticipated. It didn't go how any of us imagined. It was our first full year leading the church and we certainly didn't plan or imagine that church would play out in the way that it had to. But when we reflect on this year, I just want to thank you guys so much for an incredible year. What a difference uh, you've made to our world this year. Let me share some of those highlights with you. So first of all, during the first lockdown, we had our Box of Hope appeal. And because of your generosity, we were able to help 52 families in need with toys, games, activities for their children and food as well. We gave enough food away to provide 3,000 portions. This Christmas we've been part of supporting 132 children with gifts and toys to give them a special Christmas. We've also given their families help with food this Christmas time. We've done doorstep drop off of gifts to elderly people, older people in the community. 60 people have been visited with gifts and food a few times this year. People who would normally have attended are now gold. Meal, this year you've continued to give generously despite restrictions, despite uh, perhaps challenges you might have faced in your own employment, your own life, the financial climate around us, giving has gone up as a church. We've also been fortunate to receive over £17,000 worth of funding from different external bodies that have supported the work that we do. And we continue to give out of um, your generosity to support the work of Feed the Hungry, feeding children in need overseas. So we just want to thank you for that, that's amazing. Our kids department this year, Michelle, our kids pastor, really stepped up to the challenges pre presented to us by COVID and the kids have had an amazing program online each week. They have had outdoor picnics, they've had socially distanced movies, they've had Zoom parties, they've had Connect Online and yeah, a brilliant online kids program each week. We want to thank the team for providing that. Our youth, Amber stepped into the role as youth pastor in March, literally the week that this started. We want to thank Danny for the start of the year and the work that he did and then Amber for entering into such a crazy season. But she has run an alpha course with the youth, weekly Zooms or in-person sessions. The youth is now split into two different age groups just to help with capacity. Um, they've had movie nights, they've done gift drops. We want to thank Amber and Melody who's part of that team for all their work. And you know, as a church, we've had online services, we've had outdoor services, we've had indoor watch parties. We've run a marriage course, a money course, a prayer course, a Bible study course, a mental health course. We've had countless quizzes. We've had weekly prayer meetings. And you've all stepped up so much in supporting each other as well. People who've been in need have reached out. You guys have cared for one another. We're always hearing countless stories of people phoning, contacting, meeting for walks dropping stuff around, helping people when they're stuck. And guys, that's what church is really all about. You truly have done whatever it takes this year to keep focused on what Jesus has called us to do, to go into our world, to make disciples, to love our neighbour as ourself. You truly have been church without walls. And we always say church is more than a location, it's more than an event, it's more than a Sunday service. And 2020 has really proved that. Guys, we've gone above and beyond. We're so thankful to be part of the journey of Now Church, part of what God is doing in Worksop, in Langold, in Carlton, in Retford, and to be on this journey with you guys is absolutely incredible. Jesus is building his church. The gates of hell cannot prevail against it. COVID-19 cannot prevail against it. God is at work in our world and we're so thankful that you guys have invested everything into um, our church journey this year, into making a positive impact in our community and into showing God's love to those around you. Thank you. 2020 hasn't been what any of us perhaps would have chosen or wanted, but we're just excited for the opportunities that are coming ahead in 2021. And we know that God is gonna to continue to do incredible things in you and through you. And we wanna thank you, church, and honor you today. You smashed 2020.